Okay, so we start out with the add-ons tab. Um, first of all, you may should do a new profile. I do a new one over here. I name it tutorial, and there you go. I pick that one. So you get if you're doing a new one, you get um, you need to select the executable again. You do your own ARMA2? Yes, I do. So I just select the ARMA2 executable. I also own Arrowhead. Of course, I do. I select the executable, and there you go. And then you can start out. So this is the main thing: how to launch add-ons. First of all, go to options and make sure you got this option checked: allow duplicate add-ons. I tell you right now why. Um, I rename this one. Right-click on it and rename it to sounds to make the example a bit more clear. I do sounds, I do another group which is called islands maybe. I do another one which is called server one and I do another one which is called what's a good name for a clan? Insane killing <laughs> crew <laughs> I don't know so okay um, you have four groups you can do much more um, first of all I put stuff into the sound group um, hit refresh over here on the left side make sure you're on the add-ons tab on the left side you see the add-ons in your Amatu directory in part one I told you how to make an add-on so that's the name uh, I think it was Jarhead's environmental stuff so over here you see it that's and then in the pop-up uh, hint box you see E for me it's like E arm2 at JSRS minus E that was the one I was explaining I guess so you take that one and do drag and drop put it in the sound group and then it's in here so now um, you can enable it check the group check the add-on and then it's working uh, I put another sound stuff in there maybe uh, where have I Tango Romeo's tracked vehicles and wheel vehicles so three other add-ons in that sound group it's always good to separate your groups so you always know what is in there so it's not confusing if you would see my first setup of groups it's totally weird and I'm always losing control when I see that and I have to disable stuff and I always want to do a new setup so in that island group for example I put an island of course that's what it's for so I pick uh, where is D at Duala icebreakers beautiful island so I put it in here and the point with that stuff server one and the name of this beautiful clan <laughs> I don't know if it exists but um and the thing with this allow duplicate add-ons so you got a server you can either as admin from a server allow every add-on then you see the server list uh, you see the server is green all the time um, then you can disable every add-on then it's red if you got an add-on enabled uh, and you can allow specific add-ons I told you in the first part if you got a PBO and the matching BI sign which is matching the BI key on the server then you can join so some servers may allow for example Jarhead's environmental sound but not tracked vehicles so you take that Jarhead environmental sound over here and put it in the insane killing crew server okay and it's also allowed to use Island Duala, for example. Where is it? On D, of course. Over there. And you put it in there. So you can use these add-ons simultaneously in different groups. The reason for that is it's good to have this kind of launcher because I have like uh, four servers where I play on and I know which kind of add-on I can use on every one. So you got a group for that insane killing crew, you got a group for server one and you simply uncheck all the other groups okay this one is not allowed over here I play on server one today I disable all the other groups and only enable server one so 
I don't get kicked over there. Uh, tomorrow I play on Insane Killing Crew server. I go there, check that, and I don't get kicked because I only use the add-ons which are allowed. That's very comfortable and easy to handle. And just do drag and drop and put it into these groups. And if you check that box on top, all the add-ons are disabled. If you check a group or uncheck it, then the group is enabled or disabled. And inside of one of these groups are the add-ons which you can also disable or enable. And that's what it's all about. And make sure you always pick the add-ons which have that kind of structure, like add full night vision goggles or add G36 muzzle fix. Um, don't use, where is the example for that? Uh, stuff like that. That's not good. This is DLC. You can also use it. Um, it's not having that ad in front of it because it's from Bohemia. It's running different. Um, but not like this. Expansions or expansions, beater or where's the other stuff I can find right now? Oh, no, I removed it already. Uh, yeah, and that's how it's working. If you got any problems regarding that, just write a message over YouTube. Um, my, yeah. Otherwise, have fun. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening. I hope I could help a bit.